Introduction to CERDs and Properties. So a CERD looks something like this. We're going to have root 2. And this is a CERD because if you put it in on your calculator, you'll get 1.41 dot 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 and that goes forever with no pattern. So a CERD is an irrational number. And an irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as a fraction where a and b are both integers, where b doesn't equal zero. So there's no two numbers we can write in fractional form that are integers that it's going to give us this number that goes forever. Serds so have some special properties. Let's have a look. So if we have root x squared just equals x, we can even generalize that saying if we have the nth root of x to the power of n, that also equals x. If we have root xy, so two numbers inside, a root, that's going to equal to their individual roots times each other as well. If we have the root of a fraction, a over b, that'll equal the individual roots of the numerator over the root of the denominator. And we can use these properties of thirds to help us simplify some, some thirds. So if we have root 3 all squared, that's just simply going to equal 3. If we have 3 squared, square rooted, it also equals 3. You can think about them cancelling out with their opposite operations, root and squared is opposite, so we're left with just 3. and Squared and root is also opposite, so we're left with just 3. What if we have 2 root 3 squared? Well, all we have to do is raise each of these terms to the power. So we get 2 squared, which equals 4, times root 3 squared. Well, the square and the square root cancel out, and we get 3, and 4 times 3 is 12. About 4 root 12 squared. We can do something similar. Raise each term to the power. 4 squared is 16. Root 12 squared, the square and the square root cancel out and we're left with 12. And 16 times 12 is 192. Yeah. Root 5 over 4 equals root 5 over root 4. Root 5 we can't do anything about, but root 4 is 2.